All right, welcome. So we're going to talk about uh, the select intersect tool and how to use it on a particular type of group. Um, this is a very handy tool if you want to quickly select something and it's really easy to use in the command line actually, um, which I already have. I have the command history brought up here, which if you don't know how to do that's it's it's your best friend for creating scripts. You can bring it up just by pushing on this little chevron here and clicking command history. And it's actually the only way I know to create a .cxc file of a script. So let me hold or you pull this up. All right, I'm gonna execute that. Great. So this is very useful if you've created a morph, but if you say you want to show the ligands that are causing the change in conformation here. Now the morph is its own separate figure. And one of the best ways is to just delete a good part of this original figure after you've created the morph. Now, I mean, you can, you can select the whole thing, which is, I mean, it's, it's fine. It works well, but then you have to pick a lot of different other sections. So I pulled this up here. So yeah, now we've created a mess. So we've got, as you can see, all this blue is figure two right here. Now, if you want to get rid of the whole protein, which you can do without showing it all as I have here. Um, now you could try to select it and mess around with the other bits and pieces. There's a much easier way, which I'm going to show you two different ways to do. Uh, so first we'll select two. And I've already changed my selection tool up here to uh, this integration intersection here. So you can change that just by clicking on all of these. You can change how you use the select tool. So once you choose intersect, you go back to select and you go to chemistry and you just click protein. And now it's only selected the protein. And then if you want to delete your selection, now you've deleted all the protein in number two right here. Uh, obviously, we still have these waters floating around, which you wouldn't do if you followed this other command line, but I'm kind of showing you how it's important. Then when you do this, you can see it morphing around the ligands. It's very nice. Now, let me start this over because there's an easier way to do it using just the command line. It's even faster. It's awesome. Just activate hard mode here and start from the beginning. Click. Great. So now we've got this. Now it's actually really easy at this point. So I've already selected it. It's hidden because it's more helpful for getting rid of, for not showing all the waters. But we're just going to specifically select intersect protein. Selection. And I'll go through my original script. To... to show the water. And there you go. Simple, nice and easy. And the reason you'd want to put it in the command line is it's much easier to create a script out of it, which is invaluable if you're creating um, any kind of movie or just trying to save scripts make your life easier. So 
Yep, there we have it, the select intersect tool and how to select a specific group. You can use this for any different parts of the chemistry, nucleic acids, various, a specific element, you wanna get rid of the carbons, hydrogens, nitrogens, oxygens, et cetera. You've got all sorts of options here. Get rid of certain functional groups, like if you wanted to get rid of them or only show them, wonderful tool. So good luck and, and have fun with Chimera.